We are now nine months out from the election. It is the it is one of the weirdest feeling election years, uh, particularly in February, that I can remember. Because on some level, we have sort of two incumbents running. Yeah, we did not have either competitive. Pri I mean, there's no competitive primary on the Republican side. No. And it, I, I, you know, I've been doing this now as of um, really Oh, gosh, in two months, it'll be 20 years. Um, and uh, this is, I don't know, four, one, two, three, four, five. This is the sixth election uh, I'll have covered doing this. And um, never has it been this sort of like uh, obvious, A, who both the nominees were going to be. And never has it been where both uh, nominees are really the level of enthusiasm for both of them and and certainly look there is intense enthusiasm for donald trump and there's some intense enthusiasm for joe biden it's just not that widespread right um and, I'm, and a lot of his anti-trump enthusiasm too oh that's the biggest most chunk of it is yes. the biggest chunk of both so, uh, um, um, sets of voters i think is uh an antipathy to the other. We're going to rank it like the number one block is anti-Trump enthusiasm, then Trump enthusiasm, then Biden enthusiasm. Yeah, I mean, it's mm -hmm. uh, it's all uh, very, um, very strange. But uh, here we are. Um, meanwhile, uh, we're obviously going to be talking uh, to Jeet here about um, uh, what's going on in terms of the uh, the continued uh, assault on on, on Gaza by the Israelis and the potential for this um, war to become more regional, uh, I guess is the way to say it, uh, and other things. But in the meantime, uh, we're just catching up on this. Um, I think I mentioned this on Wednesday, that the DOJ is investigating uh, Cory Bush. There was some uh, earlier in the week. There was an unnamed Congressperson who had been a subject to a, a subpoena. Now, Cory Bush went to the Ethics Committee with this and was cleared of any wrongdoing. Her husband is a um, a military vet, has a um, a security firm, or provides you know uh, personal security, security, security for people. Um, she, and, and it was not her husband at the time, but, um, uh, she paid him, uh, a sum that was somewhere around, I guess, $40,000 for nine months of security. Considered um, market rate. Considered market rate, uh, House Ethics Committee allows for paying family members for security, um, if they show, uh, if there's some evidence that they have some qualifications to do so. And it's within a certain amount. Um, and so she uh, she was cleared by the Ethics Committee. The Department of Justice is investigating her. I guess it's conceivable that there are some other issues that we're not aware of. But it also seems equally conceivable that she is a uh, one of the progressives and um, that the DOJ is constantly looking for something to, uh, and, and a Democrat and the DOJ is constantly looking for something to make it look like in this um, uh, uh, election year that they are being even handed. I mean, we saw how they sort of went uh, With in the Hunter on Biden. Hunter Biden stuff. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. And so, and so now the Republicans are going to just completely lay off and never call the Biden administration, the Biden crime family ever again. Of course. Yeah. Of course. And I should also say, you'll hear some right wingers uh, bringing up the uh, idea that, um, well, how could Cori Bush want security when she wanted to uh, defund the police? Um, A, one of the reasons why people wanted to defund the police, aside from the fact that defunding the police doesn't mean completely abolishing the police. The concept of but, security. Right. But the, uh, but rather um, refunding other areas and taking a lot more off their plate. But one of the reasons why some people don't, and particularly if you grew up in the situation that Cori Bush did, you would realize that police are not providing security for certain groups and exactly. certain uh, parts yeah. of this. So uh, aside from that right wing talking point, here is a new one that uh, I hadn't heard as to 
why um why i guess i don't know she should be uh investigated for needing security this is a republican lawmaker uh troy nels of texas support the police but the idea to pay her thug uh money to try to help protect her this net for what maybe if she wouldn't be so loud all the time maybe she wouldn't be getting threats are you saying she deserves to be threatened? No, what I'm saying is, is that when you're out there talking the way she does, I, I'm surprised that people are probably pretty upset because she's a pretty radical. She's pretty radical. And maybe she should tone it down a little bit. She doesn't she's even, asking for uh, I got news for you. That is exactly what he was saying, that she yeah. should be quiet and that she deserved the threats. And did she refer to her husband as a thug? Oh, yes. Yeah. So people have been phrasing that as thug money, but I think I like the space between those two words is much larger than people are making it out to be in print. I think he's actually just directly referring to her husband. No, no, no. Again. Yeah. Again? Yeah. 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 He says it at the beginning. And the support of police. But the idea to pay her thug uh, pay her money thug. to try to help protect her this network. Yeah, to pay, yeah, pay her, her thug, thug money. money. Right. Oh, yeah. This is like, this is just like, I not, there's no, what is the sentence to pay her thug money? Yeah, it's not a what, sentence. Who's to pay her it? thug money. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand, but I mean, other no, people I know. don't lie. It's, yeah. it's, I mean, like, that's just, that's not even a dog whistle. That's a yeah. bull. This is, this is yeah. like the, F, this is like how the FBI investigated uh, MLK. Like, this is the exact same through line. The, the, this guy's like right out of time. Well, and I'm going to be real here. Like, we've seen smear after smear of Ilhan Omar, by the way. The, the two, leading members of Congress right now criticizing Biden's policy of supporting the Israeli government are Cori Bush and Rashida Tlaib. They were the first to introduce the resolutions condemning this, and they're working together on this front. I don't know where this kind of tip to the DOJ came from, but I don't think that it should be out of the question that it came from a uh, from a right wing group that is not supportive of her continued criticism of israel and like to to your point sam about this talking point about how this somehow makes her critical or, or, or hypocritical about defund the police it's so absurd on its face because one members of congress have personal security that's just the nature of the profession um especially vocal female members of congress who need it Two, Cori Bush literally had friends that were killed by cops. Like, that was a big part of why she got into activism, why she ran for Congress twice, and why she was so vocal in the Black Lives Matter movement. She saw firsthand how people can be targeted and killed and she has a reason to be fearful and so maybe she wants someone closer to her that is going to like that she can trust necessarily of course and three this is the major hey, point I why mean, if i was her it wouldn't be un it would not be uh irrational to say like there could be cops who could be actually exactly yes. Yes. exactly and thirdly this is the major point if all police were behaving as personal security to the American population, I don't necessarily think that defund the police would be the call because then they would be doing what they're supposedly supposed to do, and protecting is- and serving. That's not how police functions. And that's why it's actually completely not hypocritical in the slightest because personal security is protecting what we have done to our police is we've heavily militarized them to the point where they are harassing and causing violence in communities i mean uh aside from the fact that we just uh, saw in what was it in arizona or where was it in new mexico where we just had some uh, cops on on somebody's uh, uh porch and they realize they're in the wrong house yeah. the guy comes out and they just start firing at him but aside from that this is not a con- controversial position no that uh that uh the way that black people are policed in this country and uh low-income people are policed in this country is somehow different than it is for wealthier people i mean uh, a an msnbc host wrote a whole book specifically with that theme of a colony within a nation i mean this is not a controversial position but um if you are a right winger apparently uh, Mm -hmm. from Texas, who thinks that her husband's a thug and that she shouldn't be so loud and maybe she wouldn't get death threats. 
uh, that's 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 where you're just at. to underline it like anybody raising their hand and saying she's Cory Bush is being at all hypocritical is actually saying I haven't understood the first thing about what anybody's saying about this defund the police thing because the problem is that police departments are granted a monopoly over a thing like security and American police departments and federal police departments or whatever should not be given that given their track record we can have alternative forms of security